Jones, executive coach Ed DaCosta with another business lesson that I believe is not only applicable, I know it's applicable in the business world, but also in our personal lives. So even if you don't view yourself as a business person, uh, check it out to the end. So that's the subject today is addition by subtraction. Now, so often, not surprisingly, business owners, they want to grow their business. So I'm coaching them and, and we're talking about new initiatives, new strategies, new people, and new talent, you know, programs designed to grow their business. And quite often there's a blind spot. And that blind spot is where do you need to subtract? And what am I talking about? I'm talking about people. I'm talking about individuals that despite the fact that they've gotten every opportunity to perform, they either can't nor won't do their jobs. And in fact, not only do they not do the jobs, quite often these people are, are a source of problems. They, they either don't treat their uh, their peers respectfully, they don't treat their people the right way, they're not effective leaders, even worse or just as bad, they, they treat customers in a way that's out of alignment with the principles and values of the company, but yet there's some hesitation, some resistance to removing these folks. And I'm here to tell you that addition by subtraction means if you rip that bandaid off, you can't do it slowly, you gotta do it of course in a legal, moral and ethical way, but help these people find life elsewhere. And if history is any indication of what your experience will be, it becomes a win-win for everyone. Certainly you win as the leader. The group that loses this person, you know, after a little bit of transition time to fill in the gap for the things that they did do, and even for the person who is separated from the organization becomes a positive. Now, you may not hear back from them firsthand for obvious reasons, but more often than not, they'll say it's the best thing that ever happened to them because that negativity was manifested because of a misalignment, a misplacement, if you will, uh, of, of this person in your organization. So addition by subtraction, uh, it comes out of, again, good to great, uh, get the right people on the bus. And what's implied there is get the wrong people off the bus. And again, this also applies to our personal lives. Think about the people that are in your inner circle. If you become, if you become the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, and five is just a, is just a rule of thumb, but in the next five years, you're going to be influenced by who you spend time with, what you watch, and what you read. Well, who are you spending time with? I'm not talking about your family. Of course, we're not. We're not talking about addition by subtraction with, with your family, the people that you have some, you know, that you love, that even if they are a challenging or difficult, that you're going to stick it out. Of course, I'm not saying abandon anyone that is a source of, of some negativity in your life. I'm talking about, in the first example, uh, business uh, associates or employees. But in the second example, your inner circle, people that are not tied to you for any other reason, but they're but maybe they're old friends. And if their lifestyle, if their choices, if their attitudes are not in alignment with where you are or more so where you're going, they need to have what I like to say is their privileges revoked. I mean, literally block them, don't answer calls. Again, have the conversation if you're comfortable with having the conversation that's that's caring and respectful and and saying, hey, I've got some work to do. I'm going in a particular direction. And, and you know, at this, at this time, you and I are going to see each other less. Please don't take it as an attack. It's simply what I've got to do in order to get where I'm going. Now, this might sound unrealistic to you, but not only have I done it, but I've had clients who have done it. And what they've reported back to me is it wasn't as hard as they imagined that it would be. Same thing is true of meetings, you know, addition by subtraction, most people are going to far too many meetings, but that's a subject for another day. So if you really want to be at your best, try some addition by subtraction. Again, my name is Ed DeCost and hope you found this helpful. Take care.